please remember to leave a like, a comment, share the video about, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you. Well, isn't this just fantastic? As many of you will now undoubtedly know, Dr. Disrespect has come out publicly and admitted to messaging inappropriately a minor. It is worth adding that Dr. Disrespect, in the paragraph admitting to this, wrote it in such a weird way that it leant towards inappropriate, but never crossed any definitive line. Without anything to back that, of course, the internet does not approve. We have been waiting for this confession, or for proof otherwise, to see what consequences could be or will happen. For example, since his admission of guilt yesterday, he has lost over 30,000 subscribers. I'm expecting that number to continue to drop for quite some time. For the most part, Dr. Disrespect has been consistently growing for years. So when I stated that his lengthy vacation that he was going on with family was going to be an early retirement party, I think there's more credence to that. Although, it is worth adding, we still need more information. I say need because assigning a level of guilt is one thing, but fully understanding is also vitally important, and I want to understand. I need to understand. What I thought I'd do in this video is go through some of the responses that many have had concerning the situation, along with suitable videos that may well prove a point as well, which we'll get into later. We will start with a tweet from Mokalet. Throwing away my dot disrespect costume I wore back in 2022 and deleting any photos and or videos I posted wearing it. I want nothing to do with a PDF. Middle finger emoji. Many accusing Mokalet of just being a virtue signaler in the replies to their tweet. Now we're going to read a tweet that's since been deleted and we're going to circle back to it later. In the replies to Dr. Disrespect's Twitch ban statement, the quartering had replied, firm handshake. This got the quartering a lot of shtick and we're going to get to some of that later. Keemstar with a, uh, <laughs> a meme of a 13-year-old uh, cupcake-loving individual who got stung who is haram on this platform, sorry, haram on this platform. Uh, cosplay as Dr. Disrespect. Liu Taurus, I have I mispronounced your name, I'm sorry. Throwback to Dr. Disrespect, who got streamer Burger Planet crying after being pressed for filming at the TwitchCon party in 2017. Now, in the context of what we see, to be honest, all I observe is somebody not wanting to be on camera, but I do know that many would use it to make a wider point about why he would not want to be seen on camera. Personally, I will hold true to the value that if somebody requests you not put them on camera, you abide that. Based on how streamers behave IRL these days, there is no decorum. There should be. Uh, what are, what are you doing? Right? <laughs> no, no. You're killing it right now. Oh, sorry. Can I do a video? Oh, no, no. I'm sure. Yeah. We're not gonna pull out. Don't film me again. Me again. Yeah, we're still moving. Do me favor. Okay. Okay. Don't ever film me again. Don't ever give me another. Okay. Do you hear me? What? Don't ever. Hey. What? All right. Well, get away from me, man. Don't be on my thing. Get it out of my face. All right. I'm coming with you. Well, don't go back into it. Mischief. Dot's disrespect saw Firecracker in the boys and really decided to almost copy her whole flow, beat for beat bar for bar. Included is a video from the TV show The Boys, or Amazon Prime show The Boys, where Firecracker admits to having been close to that of an individual who is 15 years old. I can't play the video by the way because I get a copyright claim. Dexter 2. Turtle Beach seemingly removed all Dr. Disrespect merch and references from their website. His old links lead to the homepage of the website. Included is an image of a custom pair of Dr. Disrespect Turtle Beach headphones. Keen put out one of the more contentious statements that got a lot of traffic. I say contentious not because I agree or disagree, but it's an interesting statement to make regardless. Why did they leak the reason for Dr. Disrespect's ban now? Because Doc's friend Nick Merckx challenged the LGBTQ to leave the kids alone. Some woke Twitch employees dropped the reason to not just go after Doc but to embarrass Nick Merckx. 
the ex-Twitch employee said F Doc and his friends. Ever since this story came out, not only has Doc been under fire, but Nick Merck's getting so much heat. Why was this politically motivated? We should have known the reason for Doc's ban four years ago. We should be just as mad at those holding the secret for all this time, just to drop it in a political maneuver like this. When I said this is one of the more contentious ones, people do like to then say it's a false equivalent. The question now becomes, is there any truth to what Keemstar has said? And it certainly can be interpreted as such. Timing is key, and I do honestly believe those that held on to this for four years should be in a whole world of trouble for holding on to it for four years. If the kids mattered that much, or if this kind of situation mattered so much, it should have come out sooner. And we'll get to somebody who used to work for Twitch with a statement they made soon as well. Chrissy, Dr. Disrespect admitted to cheating on his wife in 2017 at TwitchCon, which also happens to be the same year he was privately messaging a minor. I did some digging and found that the woman he cheated with was 24 at the time, so it isn't the same girl. But it still makes you think, what were his intentions going to be with the minor if they met up? Clearly he was looking to hook up with someone despite having a family. If you are defending him in any way, I hope you never have children and that your hard drives get searched because y'all are sketchy and gross. Included is a clip of Doc's disrespect making an admission. Kind of have a, a little bit of a little bit of an announcement um and i just want to be completely transparent with you guys as you guys know i have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid and um i want to be transparent that i've been unfaithful and And I'm probably going to be taking some time away, time off, to focus on stupid mistakes, man. Ricky Berwick decided to go slightly differently with this one. Dr. Disabled is live. Somebody had to mock him. It may as well be Ricky. Irrational chat. If you think you've seen the craziest take on the Dr. Disrespect stuff already, you're wrong. Included is an image of Jean-Francois Garipé. If you remember him from the alt-right days, when he pwned a creator called Kraut, because Kraut and T decided to talk about salmon or trout pregnancies. I think it was trout, which was interesting. Jean-Francois, ah, see, a 17-year-old consenting to a sexual conversation. He could have inseminated her and it wouldn't have been illegal. Unfortunately, he just sexted her. Keep it going at Dr. Disrespect. Oh dear God. Beau Blacks. Image of Dr. Disrespect's statement amended. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the effing BS. I like kids. I mean, that one works. There's been a lot of memes and this one is an amusing one. Keemstar. So many tweets talking about Dr. Disrespect talking with a 17 year old. Let me be clear. There is no credible source giving out the age of the minor. We have no idea how old this person was at the time. Yeah, I'm not sure why the reactions to this tweet alone above are saying that I'm defending Dr. Disrespect. Huh? I'm simply stating no one knows the age of the minor and there's a lot of tweets of people saying the minor 17 but it's based on absolutely nothing. The minor could be younger, no one knows. Now this is based on an anonymous email but it's not verified yet. D-Day Cobra retweeting drama alert which we'll get to their tweet in a second. All these guys have direct contact with the guy. They can simply just call the dude and ask him straight up what happened. But instead, it's all performative for social media. This is our world now. Reference to Tim the Tatman disowning Dr. Disrespect following the allegations. Wow, this is absolutely insane, bro. Everything I'm seeing. I have known Doc for a while now. We've played games for years. And um, seeing everything that is spiraling right now is a uh, very difficult thing for me personally, and I'm sure for a lot of y'all out there. I think for me, I know a lot of you are asking, Tim, what are you feeling? Tim, what are you feeling? My bottom line, I think, is if what he is saying where he said that he was messaging a minor and it would sometimes lead to teeter on inappropriate, if he knew that was a minor and those were the messages being sent, I cannot support that. Drama alert. These Dr. Disrespect memes are insane. Now, of course, I can't expand upon two of them, but the reply underneath, almost as bad as Mount Touchmore. Today is not a good day for Dr. Disrespect. These memes are going nowhere. Fear Buck. No effing way. Now, this, I believe, is an old gameplay 
thing, I think. But I do admit the doctor cheats on wife of minor being the uh, reason or the individual that eliminated. Yes, that's certainly a form of foreshadowing from many, many years ago. Carvos, people defending doctor disrespect now. What more do you need? He admitted to messaging a minor. Never said he was given a wrong age or catfished. Said there was no real intent. Get the F out of here. You're an adult and there is no excuse ever. As a former fan, F him. Replies an of interest. I was one of the ones defending the other day when it was just rumors, but it's disappointing to see it's real. Why was there a payout? Surely sexting a minor would need the authorities to be notified, not just an agreement to part ways. Twitch has a lot to answer to. There is a point there. I do believe it has something to do with the contract he had signed with Twitch. I don't know what rules or clauses were within it. Of course I don't. I'm not going to presume too much. Clip SZN. Old clip of Twitch CEO explaining Dr. Disrespect's ban resurfaces and it all makes sense now. Let's know after all these years, why was Dr. Disrespect banned? Ah! <laughs> wow, I've never had that one. That, whoa! Well, now that I'm on Miz's channel, let me tell you what really happened. Okay, so there was an alien invasion. Okay, many people did not know about the alien invasion. Okay, and um, uh, the aliens actually um, uh, possessed Dr. Disrespect. Oh, okay, and um, uh, they, it actually took over the globe using Twitch with the Shungai. Yes, yes, okay, and so um, the only way we could save civilization, okay, was um, uh, was to take the action we did. Okay, so it was to save civilization. Do you remember earlier I read one of the Quartering's responses that he since deleted? Well, this is the part where we now circle back to a three tweet thread. Yes, from the Quartering. People are pissed that in my latest Dr. Disrespect video I titled it, he admitted it. Mass Dow voting and unsubscribing. It's so confusing. He literally did. Admits to inappropriately texting a minor. He did not say he got tricked. He did not say he stopped after finding out. I've defended Doc since day one. Been a member of the Champions Club since day one on YouTube. I never said a crime was committed and I wish more context would help soften the blow. But the facts are he knowingly chatted with a minor and was inappropriate. It's hard to defend. As much as it's a bummer for me as a fan, he effed up. And it's my job to report on that. I hope all it was, was locker room talk. I really effing hope that. But we're never going to know. The vast majority of the replies to the Quartering's tweets are still featuring that firm handshakes remark. It's not going to go anywhere for some time. He's going to have to ride this wave out regardless of his stance now. He later tweeted, I really wanted Doc to be innocent, but he wasn't by his own admission. That's why I deleted my firm handshakes reply. You may have noticed Leftoid spamming it in my reply. After I reread his statement, after he deleted then added back minor, it just felt weird. YouTuber KSI retweeted the Dr. Disrespect statement by saying this makes me so sad. One of my inspirations, talking to a minor inappropriately, KMT, I don't know what that means. You have a wife and kids, do better. Sneeko updates. Sneeko defends Dr. Disrespect. Included is a clip with a quote from it that I'm just going to play for you to hear now. Dr. Disgusting, says Valky Ray. Yuck, says Pokimane. Everyone hates you, but as soon as that second hits midnight, then she can sign up on OnlyFans, sell her body, and then everyone's gonna parade around and say, you go queen, you're an independent girl boss, slay, clown world. The Switch is 13 plus, so they're okay if you're 13 years old, edging to Pokemon all day. But if Dr. Disrespect text a girl who's 17 years old, 11 months, 364 days, 59 minutes and 59 seconds, He's the worst person ever! Why? Now the last two tweets I want to show you, because we could go through a lot of other Twitch streamers who have all called out Dr. Disrespect. Sure, we could do that. Or we could focus on two people. One who put out the email that is allegedly what happened from Too Nice Kyle. The image itself, you can pause and read through it if you need, is quite lengthy. And based on what Dr. Disrespect has said now, has turned out to be somewhat accurate. The other from a former Twitch employee, Relim. Relim? The Dr. Disrespect situation. I don't think most people have an idea of how bad things were behind the scenes at Twitch. I worked in the department that had access to the most data and information. I saw private messages, etc. It was literally my job to investigate daily. I saw things every single day that I wish I never had to see. 
I always advocated for being a good human, always expressed with heavy emotion on my streams how Twitch let PDFs run free every day. I signed an NDA and afraid to get into trouble, but I have to say something. It's been bothering me so long. These sick Fs don't deserve to be free. Sorry is pretty vague. I'm literally afraid for legal and safety reasons. Wish I could explain more, but wanted to let you guys know half the S you assume is probably true. Of course, I reported everything I saw directly to authorities within minutes. It's also highly illegal to save anything related to these cases. Look up CSAM laws. Let's just pray investigations complete and creeps are held accountable. Thanks for the support and weird people stop. I have a feeling this is going to get messy for quite some time when it comes to whether or not you could actually say something when it concerns an NDA, whether they can hold you liable if you were disclosing criminal behavior or not. As I'm not really familiar with NDAs and I'm not a legal expert, I will defer to those who are. If you can tell me whether or not someone is legally bound to one when it concerns criminal proceedings or criminal activities, do let me know in the comments down below.